it is a great morning and hope yours day is going great too uh, on the way to the gym the boys just got on the bus and we are going into the leg day let's recap yesterday real quick uh, so yesterday was an auxiliary day I did some chest I did some lower to upper cable flies I did dumbbell incline dumbbell press dips I did some cable curls. I did some lat pull downs with, with the supinated grip. So it just gets my back and my uh, biceps. Also did, what else did I do? Um, oh, then I did some abs. And I really focused on some intensity. So I was doing three sets of 20, sometimes a little bit more depending on, on the exercise if I didn't select the weight as good as I could have I uh, saw so, you know some were 25 26 but most stuff I was doing 20 22 uh, but then what I did on I then after I did my third set is then I immediately did a fourth set and uh, and then cranked out a bunch more more reps on like for instance when I did on the, the the flies the lower to upper cable flies is I did my third set and then what did I did is I immediately dropped the weight did another, cranked out another, I forget how many it was, 10 or 20-ish or whatever. Um, then as soon as I got that weight, or those reps, I dropped it again. And so I was doing some, I don't even know what to call those, drop sets, I guess. Uh, but I was doing some intensifiers, and I did that with all of them. And I could tell you, oh yeah, it felt great and sore. And muscles were sore in a way that they haven't been in a while, which is good. So um, I'm gonna start to look implement some intensifiers um, more often. So not that I'm doing it every single set, or um, I'm doing a, an intensifier, but at the end, after I finish my last set, I'm gonna do an intensifier and uh, get some extra burn going, some extra, hopefully work towards hypertrophy. Now today is leg day, and I'm not so sure if I'm gonna be doing that for all the different legs. Not sure on that, we'll see. Uh, but three sets of 20 on each, so I'm doing, starting off with squat, uh, but in the squat, it's gonna hold the pause, two, three, four second pause at the bottom and then up. And so we'll see uh, how long keep those pauses going. Then conventional deadlifts, which uh, my last time around, my coach said my form was much better than it had been, which is, which is progress. Then doing back extension works, the hamstrings, and then also do some calves, calves, and uh, I forget what the other, other, other exercise. Oh, I, I know I got a uh, some dumbbell rows, some uh, double uh, dumbbell rows. Do those, and that one I'll for sure do an intensifier on um, for sure. Uh, what I might do after all the legs, I might do some some pause body squats. We'll see. I'll, I'll get some sort of intensifier. Uh, so then, form's been getting better and improve. When I see myself with these glasses, I look freaking ridiculous. Maybe a cool ridiculous, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, but just whatever. Uh, so I, the goal is legs be cash at the end of this and feeling pretty zapped with them. Uh, I know that it, 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 taking a leak afterwards is, you know, my legs are shaking. Uh, it worked them pretty good. Uh, with, with, and, but the, here's the thing. On Monday, when I did legs, is my hamstrings. I think I hit the RDLs much better than I had been doing because my hammies were sore for much longer than they had been in, in the past, uh, which, which is great. And now my ankle mobility, that's something I need to work on more because I'm not able, like my coach and my ankles are super tight and they are. Like I see videos of people with their ankle mobility, ability, and it's just insane to me, like, wow, they can do it that far, and I guess that should be more normal, and mine, I don't, and so it's one of the reasons why I use, elevate my heels when I do squats, is because of ankle mobility, but I need to really work on that so I can get a better knees over toes, and the reason for that is because I want to work on my quad hypertrophy to get some nice oak tree legs, uh, comparatively speaking to what I have, and, but I've been thinking about recording the, all the lifts and doing videos for those. I just gotta figure out from a time perspective, uh, I'm not with the editing, uh, what what I need to do for that. And, or if I just get somebody, uh, you know, a virtual 
assistant or something to do it. I'll, I'll figure it out. I think it'd be fun and good. And the accountability I mentioned before is really, really good for me too. Uh, but let's talk about implementation. And one of the most important things that we can do in life is implement. And what I mean by that is you can learn lots of things and you can know what the right things to do to help your business, to finances, your health, fitness, everything. But if you don't implement, it doesn't really matter. Far too many people talk about this or that. I could have done this or that, but you know, but they didn't. They didn't. They didn't implement. And I see this with salespeople all the time. And I'll see salespeople and I'll see the top of producers and the difference between them and so it's not producing is implementation. Implementation over the long run. Implementation. Now some people might have some natural be in a spot where they start ahead of the game with people on, maybe the network or some skills and such, which is great, but I whatever, who cares? Who who cares about that? And that's that's short term. Is the people that succeed over the long term are those that implement. Implement. Do the things that they need to do. And I'm reminded of that as I've seen a bunch of loan officers. They were given uh, some things to help make their business easier and to do it. And the people that did not do it are the ones that have the least amount of business and and their business and the least amount of production. The ones that did do it are the ones that have the most production and closing the most and giving the most, most leads and deals. And that's not surprising to me. It's sad, but it's not surprising. Those that have little, they get little. And why is that? Is because they are not willing to put it in the work. And there are some great things about that and principles that we might get into another day. Uh, but people have not because, well, they don't do anything with what they do have. So why should they be entrusted with more? Like if you can't do the, be trusted with the little and be and do the little things, how can you be, ever be trusted and somebody give you the opportunity to do to do bigger things, right? It, it, we think it's obvious when we hear it that way, but people still just don't take action. All right, have yourself a great day. Talk to you soon.